It's challenge drift time. 292. It's a monk. Clicking on the soul mirror will show you everything that you're going to be dealing with. It's a six piece raiment of the storms. I haven't played this for quite a while. So for two pieces, your spirit generators have 20% increased attack speed and 400% increased damage. So it's going to be a spirit generating primary damage deal and build. Dashing Strike spends 75 spirit, but refunds the charge when he does. So you got to be careful not to spam Dashing Strike too much because it's going to be using spirit and it will consume it. However, we do have Mystic Ally with Air Ally to replenish your spirit from time to time when it's not on cooldown. And for six pieces, Spirit Generators increase weapon damage of Dashing Strike to 60,000% for six seconds. And Dashing Strike increases the damage of Spirit Generators by 6,000%. So it works hand in hand. So what you want to do when you come across an enemy, use Dashing Strike to get that awesome buff. Use your primary damage dealer. You've got a choice of Crippling Wave or Deadly Reach. It doesn't matter. You've got two primary uh, resource generating abilities that you can use. And just remember to Dashing Strike every now and then. But like I said, if you use it too much, look at your Spirit go. But don't worry. You can pop your Mystic Gala and get some back that way. So don't spam it too much. I didn't actually go through all the skills. The skills that we're using are Crippling Wave and Deadly Reach. I'll just be using Crippling Wave. Dashing Strike, very important to use it, but don't spam it. Cyclone Strike to pull enemies in. You can use it, but that's just another resource spending ability. So be careful. Maybe use it every now and then if you want to, but don't spam it too much either, or you're going to struggle with spirit. Mystic Ally is super important to replenish your spirit when it's out. And if you're in a really bad situation, you can use Mantra of Salvation to increase your damage reduction for a little while there. But, again, another resource costing ability, so I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't really use that too much either. Only if you're in very, very big trouble. Only if you're in big trouble. Alright, that's pretty much it. One thing to talk about it, another thing to go on in and do this one. Let's do it together. So there's an elite right here. I want my orbs. We got them. Watch out for the poppers. As you know, they're not very nice. But we want to keep on moving. It's very important to go towards the exit. Very important to take the right route here. The correct route. Which is this way. And I just sort of dash forward and just get a few hits on enemies as I keep going up. Don't want to spend too much time killing um, trash. This elite's a real pain in the butt. But we got those uh, orbs and we're out of there. If you take a wrong turn, you might end up wasting too much time. So you probably need to... Uh, Reset this one a couple times until you get it right, which is okay. It happens. Don't stress it. And I put... Yeah, get that. So this is a shield, uh, very annoying. But there is a shield pile on here. So that'll uh, keep us alive for... A a minute. We're invincible right now. I keep moving forward. Should be an elite here, I think. If not, we keep on moving. There wasn't. That open area is always uh, a good opportunity to, for a pylon to spawn or to kill an elite, so that's okay. It was a bit empty. I know there's an elite here. So you gotta, unfortunately there's no epiphany which will make you teleport to your target. You have to manually target your elites and your enemies and this map is super important as well because there's such big maps you gotta really make sure you're going the right way so here there's an elite just up above here in the center and then we want to backtrack and go the other way again 
You'll see what I mean in a moment. So kill him, and then keep going this way. If you keep going up, you'll end up at a dead end, or you'll be doing a, a full circle around. And you don't want to do that. Get out of there while they pop. And then they'll pop with juicy juicy orbs you want to collect. And then you keep on moving. Feel some crash along the way like so. But keep moving forward as you're doing so. Just be careful not to spam your dash too much. You'll be tempted to. But as you're attacking enemies, you're generating some spirit back as well. Get those orbs. There's a couple packs in here. Watch out for the poison and elemental damage that uh, drops onto the floor there. And we keep on moving forward and we're getting depths again. We're up to floor 5. Very annoying. But I believe that there was a pylon here. There it is. What I'm going to do, grab that. Go backwards for a little bit, because there's two elites up here. It's really good to either watch my videos, or do the uh, exploring yourself, and just have a look at where the enemies are, and come up with a route, a good route yourself. So that was a little, a big, big, big time saver, that one. And as you can see, time's against us. It's already popped. We've got 50 seconds. Oh, we've got the Condi. Come on, baby. I will not do that. We're needing a late here or lots and lots of trash to kill. Why is it so empty? Rift Garden's popped. We might still get this. And we're done. Super, super close to time though, but it is quite a challenging one this week. If you've come up with any better methods, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. 4.47, we've done it, we've succeeded. I'm out of here. What time did you all get? Let me know.